Good afternoon. Hello and welcome. Hope everyone's doing okay. No one seems to be here at the moment. Oh well. Uh, let me move that over a little bit because I've got my uh, watermark in the way. There we go, that's better. So, uh, I received today, that I bought yesterday, but joined on, on stream, that everyone, can't do this camera, that everyone flexible magnetic printing service for the um, 235, 235 by 235. Hi Derek, how you doing? Um, how you doing Mike? But yeah, I bought the, the everyone, 235 235 um flexible magnetic magnetic printing service for my ender three as as you can see i completely knackered my ender three uh, bed it just drove straight into it and it worked out a bit cheaper to buy the magnetic bed than it was to buy more sheets of this and i wanted a magnetic bed anyway so that got in the bin so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I thought I'd bring the, the Ender 3 over onto the desk. Move those out of the way. Turn it around so I can get to the desk better. There we go. But yeah, as you can uh, see, I've uh, still got my spool attached. Not that I've got anything to put it onto when I'm going to print something. Because uh, I actually mounted the spool holder for this, screwed it into my uh, shelving unit. So, uh that was that. So yeah, I basically got new bed. Comes in a nice flat box. Star and theme insert, and then this is the the actual PI flex sheet. Oh, let me take the magnet off the bottom. Good job cleaning it. There, um, it wasn't stuck to it. It's stuck on a, a, another piece of plastic. The actual sheet wasn't attached to the to the aluminum bed, which was quite nice. But that's the, the spring steel sheet. So the PI is already coated on it, which is really nice. I was worried that it had to be uh, stuck on there myself. But no, that's uh, come up, turned up quite, ni quite nicely. This is the, the magnet sheet. So adhesion that side. Seems pretty sticky. Another piece of styrofoam and that's it. That's all that's in the box. I will give the bed a quick wipe over with some IPA. When I remember there it is. IPA and I should have some tissue in here somewhere. Where have I put it? I'll just throw it in front of me. Hey Mike, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, it did take all the fun out of it, but that's why it turned up. The previous owner obviously did that instead of um, sticking it straight on the on the aluminum bed. So. Actually, the yeah, air is on there properly. Alright, pop that on there. Give it a wipe down. Afternoon, Holly. But yeah, we were talking about it yesterday on the, on the stream and some of the guys were talking about it and I needed a new bed anyway so I can continue doing what I was doing. So I, um, I just bought one. They're only £30 in the UK, so there is a, a link to the UK Amazon in the description if anyone wants to check it out. That's pretty clean to me. So I don't believe there's any particular orientation this needs to go. I think it sticks. Yeah, doesn't really matter what way around it goes. But we pretty much start from one corner, uh, get it lined up, and uh, um, 
about to start from this corner. Like so. That seems to be good on both sides. So yeah, it's just self self adhesive. That's all right, that's on. Hi Charlie. Um, I need something to smooth it out with. I did have a a a vinyl spatula somewhere. Um, but I can't remember what I've done with it. What I've done with it. Um, oh, I don't know. I have to make do. Is there anything around here? No, I have to make do with what I've got. But that's pretty square, so I'm not overly bothered. So yeah, I thought I'd do this as a, a quick stream instead of a, a video. I prefer talking to people when they're in here and stuff, so. Uh, afternoon, Sebas. Nearly evening. You're just used to seeing me in the morning. really easy. Flex sheet. That's all right Richard, I won't be long. I say I um just uh, everyone um flex plate. I thought I'd just pop in stream while uh, I got it on here. That didn't line up very well I'll show anything. That's one thing I like about the Prusa flex plate, you've got the notches at the back. There we go, that's on. Uh, putting a new bed on my printer, Charlie. So there we go, nicely done. Quick wipe over. Got a nice uh, smack to it as it's going down. Fits really nicely on there actually. Hey Derek. There we go. Um, I don't have a power cable. Or do I? No, I took it out. Um, I put in a new bed. Um, Print surface on the on my printer, Holly. Oh, I'm one down here. Where are my C13 cables? have one somewhere. Not there. Should have been a bit more organised. I thought I still had a uh, cable plugged in. Aha, there's one. This is 
nice thick one that come with the Predator. So that was a really nice, easy install for me. Obviously, there was no uh, sticker already on the on the bed, so I didn't have to peel that off already. All right, let me just uh, pop this in. Underneath the desk, uh, where's the plug socket? There. There we go. That should be on. Yep. So yeah, it's nice and easy. No need a piece of paper. That'll do. But no, I will be getting a ABL sensor for this. When Skynet gets uh, his all set back up. Right. Level corners. Oh wow, that's uh, really tight. Asked to test and review the grey version. Grey version of what? Is that the grey filament or... Oh, the grey version of the plate? I didn't realise there was different colours. say this is the 235 by 235 plate that I've got. Wow, this is a way out of level. All right. Go back over here. Let's see if I've still got the dog print on here. Test dog. We'll see how that goes. It was just enough away from the bed. So that's good. So yeah, it's turned up today. All did it yesterday, turned up today. So, uh, turned out quite nicely. Grey version. I say all their pictures are grey. What's the difference? Hey, Mr. Butram. Um, my flex 35 grey. God. I don't know what the difference is. They look exactly the same to me.
And that's actually five pounds more. Yeah, they're 235 by 235 on that link, Richard. It's five pounds more than what I paid yesterday from the other one. Yeah, that's the one I bought. It's heating up. They're heating it. So what makes it... I don't understand. There's no details or anything, so I don't understand what makes it more special. It's just MA Flex, Magnetic Flex 235 grey. Strange. Unless I've got an older stock one and these are the newer ones, which is possible. Yeah, the box looks identical. The shape is identical. So yeah, I wonder what the difference is. Um, I suppose it could be more of a, well, it's because it is bone stock. I haven't got no upgrades on it. Well, it's now got a magnetic flex plate on it, but. But no, it prints out really well. This was one of the prints I had off it the other day. Completely stock. Well, it's got the TH3D firmware on it, but the print's really nice. I don't really see why I need to so many why I need to mod it. Oh, I need to sort the filament out. Um, will that go on my drill? Yes. Custom custom filament holder. I'll probably fall off the end, mind you. Should start in a second. There we go. Right, we're not quite level. Too far down now. Yeah. Oh, my tweezers. This is the only thing that I'm finding with it. It keeps going out of level really easily. That's oh, not even extruding. That's a problem. Okay, now I see plastic. Plastic going down now. Evening, Matt. How's the Predator doing, uh, Jesse? Um, I finally got my uh, 2040 fans in this morning for the new fan shroud because the stock fan shroud and fans don't allow me to print it um, uh, with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle very well. Let me. Uh, So this is the, the, the redesigned fan shroud the other day to be able to uh, accommodate these uh, beefier 2040 fans. 
to hopefully allow me to have the, the cooling I need for the, to be able to print faster and bigger. So, I've just got to put this on there and make sure it all uh, fits all right. So I've got that one there. So yeah, I waited two week, uh, over a week for these fans to turn up. They ended up coming from Italy. So yeah, they'll sit. Oh, like that. So I'm hoping that's uh, going to be more than enough airflow to... Uh, I've actually got to reprint it. More than enough airflow to be able to uh, accommodate. It is a good printer. I, it, it is, and it prints uh, with a 0.4 and a 0.6 nozzle fine that I've been seeing. And I say I did 0.4 fine, but I've got a big printer. I want to print big, so I need... I want to... That's why I want a 0.8. Oh, this is the... Oh, no, I ain't carrying this anymore. Oh, uh, auto home. Move the Y. All the way forward. So it sticks all right. Material sticks to it nicely. But, a bit of a clean up. Oh, I do like that uh, magnetic bit. Just like stick it down, sticks to it. So I have got... The only thing is, it's not easily to line up. There we go. I need to pop that out. Afternoon, Carl. What temp is the magnet? The temperature of the magnet is rated for... Now I've got a page here. Uh, what's it rated for? Uh, 130. Um, over 130, 226. So you need a uh, bed up to high temperatures. So ma magnet's 130 and the film is 226. Let me just dump uh, another file on that card. Cut. Oh, I actually plugged this into a computer, yeah. Um, printer SD contents. Printer 3. Uh, yeah, it's got PEI on it. It's got a smooth PEI sheet on it. Which comes pre pre attached. Um, I just want something quick to do. Let's re slice something. Not that. End of three, yes. I'll be right with you in a second. Export. Oh, it's not easy to get in the slot when the bed's for forward. No, I completely missed the slot. Yeah, that probably, I have heard of that, and I did think about that. Get out of the way. Um, that did run through my f uh, head the other night when I was actually laid in bed. 
about using that, which I think would be pretty cool, but that's a past my uh, above my pay grade to be able to to uh, implement. I think. Print from SD card. There we go. Let's try to sift the levels right now. But yeah, that probably would be a uh, quite good. Probably rubbish down there. A good, um, a good way to go. That's not bad. Forty-five bucks. Search Google. Um. Was it an actual company? Oh, Maker Hive. Is that the right one? <laughs> That's all right, Martin. It went on very fairly easily. I didn't have to mess about cleaning like the, the aluminum bed and that off. Yeah, it'll make a hive. Yeah, do a 12 volt and 24 volt version. E switch and 24 volt power controller. Yeah, it's probably not. It probably would be a, quite a good idea for a predator, to be honest, or any sort of delta. But is it just a pump? Oh, all right. I see. It sits around the. Yeah, predator's a uh, twenty-four volt. Oh, someone's making a noise. Oh, that's a nice uh, purge layer going down. It's actually a really nice purge layer going down. Actually, that's uh, one of the best ones I've seen. Off this. Oh, yeah, I think I've got the level right now. Sweet. Let's uh, see if I can move this down a bit. Yeah, no, it would be uh, interesting to try that, to be honest. Um, it probably costs an arm and leg to get one to the UK, though. dollars shipping yeah it's, it is really nice actually yeah I was torn between this one or the the UK and or not was the the other one because the wham bam I was gonna get a wham bam system but that nearly worked out 80 pounds by the time of shipping and probably import tax and stuff so it was just way too expensive this was only 30 I do need to reprint one of these. What have I got on there in a minute? Marble black. I could run the one, run this through. All right, Martin. Have a good uh, evening, man. I'm probably going to literally wait for this, and then that'll be it. But yeah. So that was easy to install. So yeah, these just hopefully will just go on here. Like so.
I'm hoping they roughly line up with the screw holes that are on there since they're both 40 40s. Which it does potentially look like it will do. Maybe. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Oh, is it really an only two layer board? Um, yeah, those 2208s can uh, run pretty hot. Not as hot as 2130s, but they will run pretty warm from what I've read and heard. This is a bit printed, right? Bit of a blob. That's on the hot end of the video, I think. But yeah, I need to reprint this because um, this bit kind of popped off. But I may throw some pet G on there and do it. I need to reload it because it's got min temp error. In the three, uh, mark three, even. Let's just stop. Pet G is there. Yeah, I've got. I've got one of the big tree techs, SKR 1.3s with 2208s. So that, that's going to be fun to put on my uh, Core i8 printer. The only thing is, I'm not sure how I'm going to plug these in. I'm hoping that I can just plug them straight into the fans. Because I don't, they're not JST connectors. Uh, fan zero. No, they're the opposite way around. Otherwise, that probably would have worked. Yeah. All right. Looks like I may have to do some soldering to get that working. Preheat this, get rid of the PLA in it. So yeah, that was a nice, easy install. That, wow, that peels off there really nicely. Smooth and shiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Real smooth. Perhaps could probably do a little bit more squish. But other than that, I'm quite happy with that. Thank you. As long as my bed doesn't go out of a level too much and drive the print head into it. That's not bad, Mike. That's a good price. So yeah, for thirty pounds if you're in the UK. PEI magnetic flex plate seems to work quite nicely. They do a three ten size version, two thirty five, two twenty, and a one six five. I may get the two twenty for my AM eight build. And maybe I'll put auto eleven in on that as well.
So that's printed out quite nicely. Cools down enough. See, that's my pressure with the Predator, is that it doesn't cool down the layers enough. I was printing this, and the layers on it are just rubbish, but from the cooling. So this is a 0.8 nozzle. I managed to get the flow rate down, so one side of the wing was okay, but the other side was just still rubbish. Hence the reason I got bigger fans. What colour is the top sheet? Um, I don't know, it looks like a, a, a textured material underneath it. Say so the back of it's completely shiny, but the, the I don't know, it looks almost textured. Can you not? Let's see if I can. Uh, you see that? See how textured that is? That's pretty much what the colour is of it that I see. Oh, Jay, I got um, five TMC 22.8s with my uh, Big Tree Tech board. 30, total is 30 quid. I'm actually going to end the print there because I don't need another one of these. I just wanted to see if it, how it sticks. So if I stop, repair, home the X. Move the Y forwards. Actually, I should. Actually. All the way. Oh, oh what is my camera doing? That's because I've moved it. There we go. So, here you are, we're going to see. Hey, build it. Thanks for following, man. I can't get there. There we go. So, up we go. It's nice. Oh, it's got some heat to it. So, the back of it is just a shiny, pure. It needs to clean, though. It's got fingerprints all over it. But. but the print on this actually comes off really nice. Obviously, I didn't need a lot of flexing, but that is smooth. So, that's nice and smooth, and uh, so yeah, that sticks down really well. How well does the uh, skirt come off? Very smooth. Just as good as my Prusa. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the sheet, really. I can now get back to printing. Nice snap. The only thing is, need some uh, bed corners to line it up with to get it on there. Turkey. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. Thanks for uh, um, subscribing. But yeah, nice smooth layer. I could probably, yeah, I could do a bit more squish by the looks of it. But yeah, no, that come out really nice. So that's that done. That needs to go back on my shelf over there now. Hopefully I don't ruin the bed level too much. But yeah, so that's that. With removal drivers then buying drivers will cost a bit more. Uh you want to look at the big tree tech board, Jesse. Let's go back again. And again. Um it's basically a MKS Gen L size board. Hey Jesse, have a look at that. I got mine with the 20, TMC 2208s. Do, 
do, do. <laughs> Is it um, that bad? But yeah, so that's the uh, flex plate system. I'm going to pop this back down over here and plug it back in. Anyone on Vars? Hopefully this doesn't knock my bed out of alignment. Uh, I also did put a filament run-out sensor on this if anyone actually, if someone saw that. But yeah, I've got a filament run-out sensor on this. that in. Let's blast it back. And that's plugged in. Nice. Preheat pet. So yeah. So I'm gonna leave the end of the stream there. I will do a update video at some point once I get some prints off of it. But thanks to everyone that come out. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks to the two new um, subscribers. And I will be back on Monday for my morning and afternoon live stream. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of the weekend and have a good time.